Hi, I'm Clever Ghoul, but you can call me Nikki. And this week, I have a quick vlog from my recent road trip to visit my friend Sarah with my other friend Javi. You may remember them from the Jennifer Coolidge video. On our first day, we woke up to rain, which was really beautiful, and I wish I had more footage of it, but honestly, I was kind of in the moment this whole trip and didn't get as much film as I would have liked to. We started by going to thrift stores. Of course, while there, we had to torture the baby. I mean, look how cute she is in this hat or earmuff thing. I don't know what you really call it. Don't worry, we totally made it up to her and took her out for lunch. She loves being social. It's really fun to watch. We then walked into this really cool hotel and knew we had to take pictures in these chairs. Look at how amazing they are. Then we went back to the house, ate some dinner, watched some movies, but not before setting up Sarah's new thrift haul. Y'all have to look at this. Pretty much all of these came in sets, so they were in boxes of like three or more items. Also, each set was under $10. I cannot believe the thrifting up here. It's amazing. But the real cool part about all these bunny villages is that they light up. You heard me correctly. They light up. So basically on day two, we did more wandering, shopping, eating. Look at this amazing cheese, oh my goodness. Give me all the cheese. These furry glasses though, I had to resist. Also had to get this latte. It was iced matcha with lavender and pea flower, which is why it's blue and it's so pretty. When we came back to the house, it was time to craft. Javi bought us these fun mini houses from $1.25 tree and brought them up so we could craft with them. Each one of us ended up making a different spooky house. I lost some footage here, but basically what I did to start was take apart the house, take all the pieces apart, spray them with a gray primer spray paint. I spray painted the windows, doors, and roof gold. And then I had to let that dry before I painted on with some purpley gray paint. I did a rough paint just so that some of the gray from the primer would poke through and give it a weathered look with a little bit of depth. Then to add even more depth, I added in some turquoise, a little bit brighter purple, and some black around the roof and house and windows and doors. We had to stop here because it was time to clean up and get ready for our night out on the town. We went to see Beth Stelling. She was hysterical, of course. And can you believe this theater? Look how beautiful it is. I couldn't get over the beautifully painted ceiling and walls. Those cotton candy trees are pure magic. This is when we realized we didn't have a group picture together yet. So we took one in the dark theater, of course. At least Sarah and I got this cute selfie in the bathroom. Can you believe that wallpaper? I am completely obsessed with it. I mean, look at it. It featured all this beautiful Alphonse Mucha work. I was in heaven. After the show, we went to this beautiful hotel bar to get drinks. Of course, I saw a cocktail named after a Nick Cage movie, Trapped in Paradise. I had to get it, cause I love Nick Cage. It was delicious. On our last day, we dressed up the baby in, frankly, the best baby outfit I've ever seen before heading to the Empire Mine Historic State Park. It was so fun learning about the history of the mine and walking the historic grounds on such a beautiful day. And can we talk about this reflecting pool? I mean, I'm just saying, if the state needs someone to live here and take after the grounds, I'm available. And would you look at that? We finally got a group shot in good lighting. My friends are the cutest, I swear. After walking around a little bit longer, we went back home and resumed our crafting. I painted my wooden base black and then reassembled my house, while Javi continued painting his windows and Sarah did some more spray painting. Also, I have to say, this is one of the better crafting views I've had in my time. Isn't it pretty? Here's what my house looked like before we paused to go inside and cook dinner. And here we are after dinner. I glued down my house, added in some final details, including moss. I put the finishing details on at home for the final product, which I'll have to show you now with Sarah and Javi's houses. Sarah went for what I'm calling metallic magic. Javi recreated Elvira's house from her movie, and mine was made for one of my favorites, Frankenstein's monster.
We ended our night with a fire before heading into pack and getting ready for the drive back. The end of a trip always feels a little sad, but seeing the super bloom of wildflowers really took my mind off of it and made the drive easy. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next week.